it's me again and I'm not editing this video either because when I don't record a vlog until almost midnight I don't ever feel like editing. So I was in an argument about religion with my friend who I always get into arguments about religion because it's really funny sometimes to explain things to her um, and point out the logical fallacies in a lot of her beliefs. I mean, I don't mind religion in general. I like I actually like religion. But it's really frustrating when they have obvious logical problems. Um, anyway, the topic we were arguing was predestination and it reminded me of a story that I came up with a few months ago about like sometime in the future somebody finds a way to figure out who is part of the elect, people who get to go to heaven, that's apparently the word for it, and who is part of the not-elect. Um, I think the term she was using was damned. So, and there's this, these two people who are madly in love, who turns out the girl is one of the damned and the guy is one of the elect, and so they're like, well, we don't want to be separated for all of eternity, so they proceed to try to unelect him. And I thought that was an interesting story idea, but I'm hesitant to actually write it because it's kind of one of those things that's almost controversy for controversy's sake, but I still think it'd be interesting. So I think I'll use it for, um, NaNoWriMo, or possibly I'll do it for June and do it Camp NaNoWriMo, NaNoWriMo. Um, a related story that I came up with that was controversy for controversy's sake, and this one really was, I didn't even think it'd be that interesting of a story, um, it'd be like a short story, flash fiction, um, where Jesus is like walking up to the cross He's uh, gone through all this torture and stuff, and he's like, you know what? You people are not worth this. And then he just, like, leaves in a puff of God full power. I thought that would be kind of funny, because that's how I would react. I'd be like, you guys are so not worth this. Bye. Later. Um, also, I'm wearing tie again. And this one's really awesome, because I don't actually have to know how to tie it to use it. So it's a zipper tie. So it does like this. See, got a zipper, and then you just do like that. Although it kind of rubs on my neck in a funny way, so I might have I might have to just wear this one with like collared things, or put something on the edge of the parts that most of the time will not actually, or um, like I won't need the tie to be able to do this all the time. Like the smallest I'll need it is like that much. Maybe a little less. I'm not sure. Um, also, for Nerd Fighteria, stuff on heads. Peace. Later. See you tomorrow. Bye.